Welcome to VM Blog's coverage of VMware Explore 2023, taking place in Las Vegas at the Venetian. Today, I have the pleasure of having Jeff Woolsey, who is the Principal PM Manager at Microsoft. How are you doing today? I'm doing great, thank you. Um, maybe you can start and tell us a little bit about your role at Microsoft and your division. You bet. So I've been, a lot of people probably know me best for, I've been I've been at Microsoft now for 20 years. Um, I have a heavy focus on Windows Server, but also Azure Stack HCI, and more importantly, uh, Azure Arc and our hybrid uh, story. One of the things we've been working on very, uh, very hard is making sure that our customers um, have a fantastic hybrid solution. Um, and that's, there's a lot of partnership going on with VMware, and uh, we'll have lots of exciting things to talk about at VMware Explorer. Yeah, uh, Jeff, since we are here talking about VMware Explore, if you wouldn't mind, maybe talk a little bit about what the uh, partnership looks like with uh, with VMware and how that works. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah. So one of the things, one of the core pillars at Microsoft when it comes to cloud is that we understand that our customers have told us, look, we are absolutely taking advantage of what's going on in the cloud. We want, for example, instead of running exchange servers on premises, we'd like to just take advantage of M365 and mail and stuff like that and take advantage of things going on in the cloud, like the latest advancements in AI and ML. But at the same time, we also have customers that say, and by the way, while I'm doing some stuff in the cloud, I also want to modernize my on-premises as well. And I've been using VMware for you know a long time. We're very comfortable with what's going on in terms of management and all of the skills and all my folks are trained on it. And I'm comfortable with that. And what I really want to do is be able to deliver an end-to-end -end solution because I don't want to manage my on-prem one way and my cloud another way. And so one of the things that we've been working on together is making sure that we have a consistent, unified uh, management experience. In fact, our own our own CEO uh, Satya Nadella has said on a, a couple of occasions that we believe that the long term durable state for our customers is distributed hybrid cloud. And so, what better time to talk about it uh, and and show it off here at, at VMware Explorer? Um, since we're talking here, you know about VMware Explorer. And most of the people there, I assume, are going to have VMware implementations in some sort. Um, what kind of problems does Microsoft solve for those VMware customers? Well, and, and it's funny because when you say VMware customers, you know, we find that they're usually, they're almost always mutual customers. Um, VMware long said for the longest time that most of their workloads were Microsoft workloads like Windows Server and SQL Server and SharePoint and Exchange. And we, we believe that we have tons of mutual customers out there. So we want to deliver a great solution. And a part of that revolves around something we call Azure Arc. Um, Arc is a key part of our strategy to to enable hybrid and multi-cloud. And in fact, one of the things that we are announcing here at, at VMware Explore is Azure Arc for VMware vSphere. We have, it's been in public preview and we're updating the public preview uh, based on what we, you know, customers we've been working on with together. And what this means is you can now onboard Azure services to your VMware VMs that are running on premises and do it at scale. So, for example, customers tell us, look, we're using Azure Monitor or Azure Update Management or Azure Defender, for example, to defend, provide security, provide log analytics, provide monitoring, all of these things in the cloud. Well, wouldn't it be great if you could do that for all of your, your servers that are running on premises, except, except it's on VMware as well? And so now, all of a sudden, you can ARC enable these servers, deploy these services at scale. So imagine you've got a, a vSphere deployment with you know, 300 virtual machines on it, and you say, you know what? I want Defender on every one of these. It'll go ahead, and we can now deploy it on there. You can then go into Azure and see all of those operating systems that are running on your vSphere on-prem but you can see them all in the cloud. So all of a sudden now, I have a consistent view, for example, into the Defender and the security experience for all of my workloads wherever they reside. It's really powerful stuff. And Jeff, if you could, uh, you know, I know Microsoft is going to have a big presence uh, at, at VMware Explore. Uh, can you go in a bit deeper, uh, a deeper dive into the technology that you guys are going to be showcasing there? 
So a big part of it is definitely Azure Arc, um, what I've been talking about here. Um, also, we will be talking about there'll be further integration in terms of lifecycle management and in, in terms of VMware vSphere, your on-prem VMware vSphere or wherever it resides uh, with Azure as well. For example, if you want to do lifecycle management, create, start, stop, edit virtual machines and stuff like that, um, you can be able to do that as well. Um, and we'll be talking just kind of all up about what our what our, our Azure strategy is and how hybrid distributed cloud fits into all of this. And uh, we'll have two sessions. I'll be uh, I'll be there with uh, one of our B VPs doing the keynote together. And then I also have a session as well, uh, deep diving on um, uh, Azure Arc, uh, VMware vSphere integration, Windows Server and SQL Server. Um, and we'll talk about how, you know, again, we can provide a solution for customers that want to run these workloads wherever they need it to run. Because um, again, the big part of this is we understand, you know, there's no, it's not, it's not black and white. There's no world where everything is going to run a hundred percent in the cloud. And we're certainly beyond the world of where everything's going to run on premises on a private cloud. Those, those, those days are gone. Everybody's in the middle. And I kind of think of it as a slider, you know, kind of where does your company want to be? And it's something I'm consistently asking organizations is, you know, where do you want to be in five years or 10 years? And I kind of see where that slider fits. And right now it seems to be, you know, going more towards public cloud. But again, with every customer, they tell me, but there's a bunch of stuff that's going to stay on-prem, whether it's compliance, whether it's regulatory, whether it's latency, whether it's data sovereignty, you name it. And that's no problem. We want to meet the customers where they are. And obviously, there's going to be a lot of vendors at uh, VMware Explore, and Microsoft is one of the diamond uh, sponsors. Could you kind of explain what sets you guys apart from some of the other competitors out there? Yeah, well, first first of all, it kind of starts off with the fact that, you know, we've been talking uh, hybrid and multi-cloud since the very beginning of cloud. I can go back to presentations from 2010 where cloud was still very nascent and you could you you would hear us, you know, you would see me showing yeah, hybrid and multi-cloud because it's a key part of our, our strategy. It's also a key differentiator. Um, just in this last month, we're selling celebrating the 30th anniversary of the first release of Windows NT. Uh, back in 1993. And yeah. it shows that we've been delivering customers a fantastic on-premises solution. It started off in small work groups. It went into, into, into enterprise, then it went into data centers. Now it's in the cloud. And we have this experience. We know how to help you manage and monitor and secure and provide uh, help with compliance and regulatory and all of those things. So it's 30 years of history and working with our mutual customers together that has helped Help give us the insights with how we need to build our cloud. And it's why we have, you know, some things that are very unique in terms of Azure around, you know, the number of regions we have around the world or how we deal with data sovereignty or how we deal with com compliance and regulatory. And again, we want to make sure that wherever a customer wants to run, if they want to run VMware on premises or if they want to run VMware in the cloud, I, I, I should also not forget to mention, we have this fantastic solution called Azure VMware Solution. So for customers that say, you know what? I love my VMware. I love my vCenter. I love my management. All of my folks have been trained on it. I just don't want to have to deal with, you know, the hardware component. I'd rather focus on the applications, but I still want to run VMware. Well, then you can guess what? Use the VMware tools like HCX, migrate it up to the Azure VMware solution, and you get a full VMware experience using all of your same tools and it's consistent. So we have, again, a very comprehensive story. Um, and again, one that's deeply rooted in our history uh, and meeting our customers with a distributed hybrid cloud strategy. Now, during VMware Explore, a lot of companies use the event to showcase some uh, some new announcements that they're making. Is is Microsoft making any new announcements that's, uh, that's coming out at the show? Yes, we'll have some announcements around Azure Arc. We'll have some announcements around uh, v VMware integration. We'll have some announcements around Azure VMware solution. So, yes, you can you you will uh, definitely expect to uh, get some, hear some hear some noise there. And I guess lastly, uh, where can people go if they want to find out more information about some of the Azure, you know Azure Arc and some of the other things we've talked about today? 
Well, you know, we've uh, we've done a pretty good job at making it pretty easy to find in your favorite search engine. So if you want to Bing or Google your favorite uh, uh, Azure VMware solution or Azure Arc or uh, Microsoft Hybrid Cloud, you're going to find a whole bunch of information there. And again, we'll be updating. You'll see fresh blogs that get released um, uh, in conjunction with all of our awesome work here going on at VMware Explorer. Well, thanks for taking the time to speak with VM Blog today, and we look forward to visiting the Microsoft booth at VMware Explorer. My pleasure. Thank you very much. All right.